Hello folks and welcome back to more Super Mario 3D World. Of course I am your host Vicious and today we are diving back into World 3. Now we get to cool, do a really cool underwater level actually. Pipeline Lagoon is called. Now, at first I was not a big fan of this level. And I have to admit that like, I was not a big fan. But after playing it a few times, getting like, the, you know, practicing and all this other stuff. I really like the level. I love the underwater music. It's amazing how they did it. I'm just saying, I, I thought it was amazing. Also, you see here, I'm rocking my boy Luigi. Got to. Got to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. So yeah, the underwater aspect of this is really cool. Um, so right there, you saw like another little item box there. I would say get cat suit or actually any power. Um, fire suit. Anything that really helps you take out enemies. I say probably grab it for here. Because uh, these bloopers and whatnot, they get really annoying. But yeah, actually, this recording went really well. I got actually all the stars and all the stamps. Everything went really, really well. I was actually surprised. I was like, holy crap, we got a good run in. So, here we go. Say, you want to avoid these guys. You can actually hit them, I believe, but I don't try because I want to keep my powers. Yeah, cat suit is just way too amazing, and it definitely helps when you're trying to get those gold flags. So, yeah, come up here, get your first green star of the day. Woo! So, yeah, I have, what, 39 lives? I think I'm going to be okay, guy. I think I'm going to be okay. So anyway, this is a really, really cool uh, scene here. The whole underwater ghost ship thing going on. It's really cool. I love the design of this level. I love the design of the underwater aspect of it and everything. Just great. Also, I want to point out I'm actually using a new uh, editing software. Of course, there's going to be no fancy editing yet. I'm still learning all that. I'm still learning how to use this. So you have to bear with me, folks. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I actually, if my voice sounds a little bit too low, I might just jack it up a little bit, so, yeah. So, yeah, as you see here, I'm doing perfectly well. Everything's going perfectly smooth. Knocking bloopers out. Checking everywhere, because there's secrets all over the place in this level. Of course, there's our stamp. You want to come over here, hit this block, and get a, I guess a bullet bill suit? I don't know what you call that. It's just a cannon head, I guess. Yeah, it's a cannon head. But you actually need this for this next part if you want to get the uh, next green star. See, there's a nice crack in the wall there. You gotta have to get that. So get rid of these stupid bloopers here. Spike bloopers, as you call them. I don't know the official name. If someone knows the official name, let me know. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, go down this pipe, and this is gonna be your next green star. And also a bunch of coins. Because, you know, coins. I do love these rooms sometimes. Like, nice gold rooms. This is really well done. I like to do the fact that they stack all the coins and everything. It's really cool. Sorry if I'm talking like really weird. I just got over being sick. So you're gonna have to bear with me if I slur my words a little bit or anything like that. I'm pretty sure you guys are used to it by now because I always slur my words. Sorry. So yeah, anyway, take out these stupid spike bloopers here. Also, you wanna make sure you go up because it's actually gonna be leading you to your next green star and the last one for the level. Fantastic. Now, of course, you can't go back down that way, but that's okay, because we're coming here for the green star. Now, something really cool, um, if you hold on to the cannon head for the entire level and you hit the gold flag, you get a one-up mushroom for it, so, hey, get something nice out of it. That poor little Goomba, man, he was just chilling on that inner tube, except he's relaxing, and you shot him in the face with a cannon. I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So anyway, let's get that gold flag and call the day. So yeah, this recording, I was surprised how well it went. Like, everything just went smooth. And actually, one of the levels coming up is probably my worst level to play. I have to be brutally honest, and I was actually surprised how well I did on that level. I still got hit, but, eh, it's gonna happen. So anyway... But before we do the, the level that annoys me the most, we're going to do one of the most fun levels that I have ever played in this game. It is a nice, like, throwback to Mario Kart. It even has the music, too, which is just amazing. But first, we're going to hit this uh, slot machine here, because i got to play those slots. Now, I think I only ever got, like, 200 coins out of this. I just had bad luck. I don't know if it's, like, timing or something or anything like that. I just have really bad luck when it comes to this. So sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So anyway, yeah, I got an extra life out of it. Hey, I'll take as many lives as I can get my hands on. I know this episode's a little bit longer than normal. I'm going to try to make them longer, and I'm going to have a set schedule for when these episodes are going to come out. Uh, one day is going to be Quest 64, the next day is going to be Mario, and so on and so forth. Uh, the Quest 64 doesn't take a lot of editing or anything like that, because um, it's Quest 64 and it's just live stream footage, so we're good. But anyway, I want to talk about this level, because this level is amazing. Um, oh yeah, I went back here because I had to get my green star, because I <laughs> almost left it there. Yeah, so a little tricky here, you gotta come down here and get the green star. So grab that, you're good to go. If you have cat suit, it goes by so much faster. But yeah, this is definitely a level you should go back and enjoy. But you know, just try to speed run as fast as you possibly can, because it's just so much fun. I'm so happy you threw this level in here. Also, if you hit all these enemies coming down here, you get extra life. Of course, I missed two. Because I'm not perfect. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not perfect. Also, you want to come down here hit that block, because this is going to be your next green star. you got to chase a rabbit. Now, actually, the first few times I did this level when I first started playing this game, it took me forever to catch this thing. I, c I could not catch him for some reason. I was so bad at this. I think it has to do with the fact that I didn't have cat suit. Because, you know, you get more speed on the cat suit. I don't know. I mean, I was just bad. Also, this is your stamp for the level. And it's going to be one more green star coming up here. Now, be careful when you're doing this little dive here because you could just, you know, overextend and fly off the freaking level. I've done it once. It sucks horribly. So anyway, this is pretty much the level. It's really fun, it's really short, but it was a nice nod to Mario Kart there. They need more levels like this. Really, they do. Yeah, you get that four player thing going on. Be great. Just race each other across the course. Be great. Maybe one day I want to get like three other people in a room. We'll try that level in four player. It'd be great. I might notice I'm getting kind of professional with my recording, sort of. I'm using a snowball mic with a pop filter, uh, using better better editing software. I got my better recording device. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. I still got a lot of work to do. I still got to learn how to edit and everything, but I'm getting there. And thank you guys for your support and everything. It really does mean a lot when you guys watch these videos, you like them and everything, because it means that, you know, that somebody's actually watching this. I know I've been away from LP for such a long time, and I know people are like, kind of sick of me you know, coming in and going and coming in and going. So I'm very sorry about that. I've just been really confused about what I wanted to do with my Let's Plays, or actually my YouTube channel. I had so many ideas, and I just kind of like gave up on them. Because so it was like, oh, this is not going to work, this is not going to work. I, I get discouraged, I guess you say, because I'm not seeing like, you know, the views like I used to. Well, that's because I was doing like Super Cold World. I'm never going back to that game, because it's really not fun. Like, all you get out of it is rage, and it's really not fun to play. Like, if you're watching something for rage, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of channels out there that does that. I just like to provide, you know, kind of semi-funny commentary and maybe some inf information about games, because I know way too much, folks. I know way too much about games. I've been playing them pretty much all my life, so I know a lot. i played some of the best, <laughs> and i played some of the worst. Actually, I never played Super Mario 64, I'm sorry. I did play E.T., though. I did play E.T. It's pretty bad. Anyway, this level right here I want to talk about. This level I despise with a passion. I don't know why, but I had the worst luck when it comes to this level. Except when I was recording this, because for some reason the LP curse just kind of went reverse and gave me like, Oh, you're going to do super amazingly awesome in this level. I'm like, yes! See, so yeah, I come down here. This is going to be your first green star. I know it's kind of weird that you don't get a green star kind of early in the level. But, uh, yeah. Remember, just take this pipe and you'll get your first green star. Also, some nice coinage. So, yeah. Not too hard there. But, like I said, I just don't like the moving platform through this level because it gets really tricky. And, you know, when you, there's a jump later on that's coming uh, up soon. That just gets really retarded. It's like, oh, I'm going to miss this. And a lot of times I actually miss the jump. So, it's really scary sometimes. I don't know why, when I play a game and I'm about to die or something, like, I start to, like, you know, freak out a little bit. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Especially when I'm recording, I was like, I don't want to die, don't die, don't die, come on, you gotta show good, good, uh, gameplay. You gotta do this. 
Now, I don't get all these um, red coins because uh, all it does is give you a fire flower, and I'm trying to keep the bell in uh, my pocket there. Because you need that. Also, I get hit by a stupid bee here. Because, you know, bees. Not the bees. Insert Nicholas Cage joke here. I guess. I know it's kind of old. I know. Old jokes. Eh. What are you going to do about it? So, anyway, yeah. Be careful, because that green star, you have to duck. If you don't duck, you just kind of fall off the platform. Also, Luigi is too good for this level just because he has one of the higher jumps. And he can definitely make a clear jump over these guys. Oh, Luigi, you are so good. Now, of course, always get like, a nice start there, just so you know what you're yeah, preparing for. Because the uh, next green star is coming up. Now, it's really hard to jump over this guy without getting hit. So, like, right there, I almost missed a platform, and that would have sucked. But yeah, luckily Luigi has a high enough jump that he can actually get over that. Now come down here, and you're going to grab a stamp right here, and wait for that guy to go by, and you're going to hop up here, and that's pretty much the level. I don't know why I went back, I guess because of the running start, but there you go. Yeah, anyway, not too difficult, but if you don't know what you're doing in this level, it's really tricky, and the platforms can really throw you off. Especially those guys that, you know, kind of spin around the track. They suck. Anyway, green... Yeah, I got my green stars, got my gold flag. We're good. We're good. I even got the stamp this level. I know recently I haven't picked up a lot of the stamps. I don't know... If, like, that's the problem. I don't know if the stamps goes towards the, uh... The, uh... Completion percent for unlocking the later levels. But, uh... I'll find out. If they do, I'll just go off screen and get the rest of the stamps. Because, really, they're just stamps. Usually they're for like if you want to leave like a nice little message on the level if you're playing online. That's about it. Anyway, another little toad house here. Now, the next level, which is the uh, Bowser's Castle, introduces a new power up for us. But we're gonna grab it right here, which is our friendly Tanuki suit. If you play Super Mario Brothers 3, and I hope you have because it's a fantastic Nintendo game. Um, yeah, the Tanuki suit was a special suit in that game. Um, it basically allowed you to turn to stone due to the uh, Japanese legends of the Tanuki. So I thought that was kind of cool. Now, I know in Super Mario Bros. 3 they had the, you know, the raccoon feather, and then they had well, the raccoon tail. And then they had the, um, the Tanuki suit. And this one you just get a Tanuki suit. Sadly, there is no uh, stone power, which kind of sucks. Also, you're going to see something really cool in this level. Um, I was actually shocked and surprised when I saw this, and I kind of like, wow, they went there? Now, of course, you might understand that the motif of this game is, uh, you know, cats. There's a lot of cat stuff. If you're a cat lover, you'll love this game. That's a little bam! So anyway, as you notice right here, those are cat bullet bills that chased you down, and they suck. Also, there's your second green star. Yeah, the green stars in this level is not too tricky to get, actually. Um, the first one you see right off the bat. The second one, a bunch of Goombas are, you know, holding it up. And the third one is a little tricky if you don't take the pipe coming up. But other than that, you're okay. To be honest. Anyway, here's a giant cat bullet build. Which hits me. That kinda sucks. Well, I'm like, you know, whatever. I got cat suit in the back pocket. No problems there. And I get hit again. Like a boss. I'm so good at this game, right guys? I'm so good. Like, yo, like, vicious, you're so good at this game. Like, you should, like, MLG this. Also, break that box, get the toad. That's your last green star for the level. I'm trying to remember if I get the stamp or not for this level. I don't think so. I think the stamp is, like, down there. With that, uh... Hammer Brother is controlling the train there. I'm like, eh, whatever. Just a stamp. But anyway, we get a new interesting boss here. We get a Ninja Koopa. <laughs> yeah, this is a really easy boss. Actually, just pay attention to the, the Shuriken she has, or the Throne Star in this case. If it's the pink one, that's the real one. If it's a white one, then it's a fake. So just look for the pink one and you're kind of fine. This is super easy, like, no problem at all. Bunch of coins, 
Like I said, I'm actually doing really well in this uh, episode. I'm surprised. Because usually I just suck horribly. Like, super bad. So anyway, here's our uh, fairy for the level. We are doing fantastic and amazing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can do like a whole golf commentary for me too. And he's gonna make a jump. He's gonna jump. Oh my god, he just made a jump. And that's the goal. Why, Luigi? No, I'm kidding. That's probably gonna kill everybody. I'm sorry if that comes in kind of low. I'm really sorry. I'm so bad at commentary. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'm having fun with it. That's all that matters. When you're doing like videos and stuff, just have fun with it. Don't worry about money or anything like that. Have fun. That's what I believe you do. It's just to have fun. So anyway, the castle is done. World 3 is done, and now time to move on to World 4. Which, uh, that's a kind of a fun level. I forget all the levels in it, to be honest, but, uh, we actually do one of the levels of the, uh, fourth world, which I'll show you in a bit. Anyway, we save complete. Woo. But, we get something I like to call a mid world boss. Basically, before I can get to the next world, I have to take on a little mini boss here. Which is not too difficult. Of course, I make this look difficult because I'm stupid. But, um, yeah, it's not too difficult. Quite honest, they give you enough cat suits to just destroy this level. Like, seriously, if you lose your cat suit, I'll show you in a second. I don't want to spoil it. I'll let you guys see. Now, I love the fact the the way they did this level. Like, it looks really cool. With all the, um, the carnival stuff and all the other stuff. It looks really nice. I love it. This game was done so well. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite Wii U games right now. Of course, I hope you're all excited for uh, Smash Brothers coming out. I'm excited because Lil Mac is finally in the game as an actual fighter. Not an assist trophy. Nintendo. But anyway, yes, we fight a giant, like, snake worm thing. And to hit him, you have to basically jump on these platforms here. Uh, if you're having trouble, just kind of cat grab on their heads and then latch on their bodies and they just kind of stay in place. Just be careful for the ones that actually have no platform above their head because if you climb up, which I actually do here because I'm an idiot, um, they actually bite you and take your power. Look at that, boom. Like I said, enough cat suits around. You'll be fine. I always like the way they did bosses in the other Mario games. They always make them interesting and unique. Uh, unique. I actually have Super Mario Sunshine, which I actually have to sit down and play. I haven't played much of it, actually. I, I know it's like a sin. Like, oh my god, why haven't you played Super Mario Sunshine? I don't know, to be honest, um... I haven't really gotten around to it. I just kind of picked it up when I saw that uh, GameStop for like 10 bucks because I know that game's going to be hard to get later on. I've been on this kind of a kick of trying to pick up retro games or uh, a lot of N64 titles. Um, if you have any, let me know. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Keep your games, they're really good. Especially 64, it's a fantastic console. But, um, yeah, I've been on this kick of trying to pick up uh, N64 games. I actually just picked up uh, Jet Force Gemini for the N64. Looking really forward to playing that again. All I know is I had a lot of trouble with that game. Oh, that game was like long. If you didn't have a strategy guide, you were kind of screwed. And at the time, I didn't really have the internet around me, so... I mean, we had a computer in the house, but it was downstairs, and I was playing in my room, so... Yeah. I had to figure out everything myself, and I still couldn't beat that game. But anyway, that's pretty much the uh, little mini-boss, sub-boss, mid-boss, whatever you want to call them, boss. Not too difficult. Just don't make mistakes like I do, and you'll be fine. I know I'm kind of rambling in this episode, guys. I'm sorry. I just like to talk to you. That's all. I like to kind of say what's going on with my life. Also, happy Valentine's Day for everybody who's uh, celebrating this holiday. I hope you enjoy spending your day with your loved ones. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not currently dating anybody, but that's okay because I don't have to spend money. I can spend money on myself. Because <laughs> I love myself. There you go. Spend money on yourself. <laughs> Well, actually, I have a bad habit of spending money on others. Um, kind of spoiling my friends when it comes to gifts. Yeah, uh, I am I have a horrible time with money. I'm, I still have a good chunk, though. I don't I don't go around, like, spending, like, all crazy. But, like, when it comes to a birthday or Christmas or something like that, I try to get them something nice. 
Because, like, you know, so many of my friends have gone out and got me things, so I feel kind of bad that I want to get back. Anyway, new level, a new world. We got these little crazy ant guys. And oh my god, why'd you do that? My stupid monitor decided to go into sleep mode. Thank you, monitor. Of course, that's not gonna screw up anything, but uh, yeah, I can't see the footage. <laughs> so anyway, I like this level too because the introduction of the ants. Now, of course, you can kill them if you have a you know, cat suit, just claw out their eyes at this point. But um, you can also bounce on their heads, which we'll actually see later. We actually have to use that uh, head bouncing to get a green star coming up. I'm just like, yo, I got this cat suit. I don't care. Like I said, cat suit can easily uh, break the game. In a lot of places, so uh, it's really good to have, if I say so myself. Oh, that poor little ant guy—he wasn't doing anything. He was just walking on that platform, and I just like killed him with the claws. Just like, yay! Because if you're not sure about a location of a green star or anything like that, just you know, hop around, look around. It'll be fine. Hey, right there. See, I just bounce on all their heads. Really cool gimmick. Of course, uh, I get the my bell back because if I need to climb up this wall, actually, I don't think you need it. Yeah, I think you do need it. Like at any point, you're gonna need that uh, bounce. So anyway, a uh, bunch of spiked uh, ants here. You can hit them, just be careful hitting them because uh, you know one wrong move and that's it. That's it. You did. You did. So anyway, you see that green star sitting in the middle of that spike pit. Well, we can use our friendly ant buddies here. They're gonna help us. Uh, get to that, but first we gotta take that pipe there, because that pipe will lead us to the second green star of the level. I gotta stop climbing these walls, man. I gotta stop climbing these walls! These walls! We gotta climb! Now, of course, if you have the cat suit, you can easily break this uh, part here. Of course, I went the other way. I'm like, oh wait, I can get it. No, no. No. Okay, just climb up the straight path there. Get it, you're good. Move on. Normally, you have to bounce on their heads at the uh, right time and get it. So, yes, doing that little uh, pipe there just took us to the next platform. I got another cat suit. And now I'm bouncing on this guy's head. He doesn't mind. See, I mean, like, he doesn't mind if I'm bouncing on his head. He's like, yeah, whatever. I got this. But I feel bad for bouncing on his eyes. And I'm sorry, dude. I'm just, like, bouncing on his eyes over and over again. He's like, I hate you. Like, why? So yeah, it's pretty much a level. We're just coming close to the end of the video here, guys. Thank you for watching today. Um, if you liked the video, you know, give us a thumbs up. If you have anything to ask me, leave a comment. I love you guys. I love. I thank you all for the support and everything. And I thank you for sticking with me for so long. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I love you. Uh, this is Vicious. Peace out and have a happy Valentine's Day. See you later.